Well, hello folks, welcome to the channel. This is our Euro Truck Simulator 2 career mode save and uh, we're back here with the custom haulers and um, we will be taking a load of office papers uh, 266 miles from Istanbul in the very um, southwest of the game uh, slightly further up into we're going we're going we're going this way oh Christ that's a sign um, yeah slightly slightly uh, higher up the map map to Veliko Tarnova uh, in Bulgaria I believe so that's what we're going to be doing today but the reason um, well, the thing that we're focusing on most of all is the 1.49 update, which has just come out. I think yesterday is when it appeared on my computer. So um, as this comes out, it's probably only been out a couple of days. Right, so we're going to be talking all things 1.449. There's uh, some interesting updates they've included in the game. And I want to look at some of those, where we can look at it and where we can't look at it. I think we still uh, want to have a little chat about it. But before we get into any of those things, um, we have a bit of a photo opportunity on the right. I don't know if we can actually see that. I don't know whether we have to be up up there to actually see it. But it's just... Um, no, we can't go down there. Let's just uh, see if that's what it is on the, on the right there. Istanbul Mal. Well, I mean, it doesn't look much like a Mal. It looks like an apartment complex, but very nice all the same. So we have picked up one of those one of those uh, photo opportunities. Which I don't think I think that's our first one in the road to the Black Sea. And uh, so we're going to go just downtown to pick up this paper. Um, you will see down here the papers here. We've got a. Um, viewpoint up here which we will go and have a look at uh, I'm not 100% sure what that is but I think it might relate to a uh, an achievement so we'll talk about some of the achievements that we're going to be trying to work on in this particular area and then we're going to come all the way up here to Veliko Tarnova which is just over the border uh, in Bulgaria so uh, to the east of the the capital uh, Sofia uh, so that's yeah that is what we're up to but yeah 1.49 in the comments uh, let's uh, I want you to let me know what you think of the updates what's your favorite update and we're gonna go gonna explore what all the updates are as we drive up this way gonna be a fun one I think okay here we go just picking up from I think it's just called paper this place <laughs> really uh, well thought out naming process but they sell paper in paper, and we can see our truck down the end there. So let's go and pick that up. It is a gorgeous day. One of the things that it has been improved or what has been changed in 1.48 is what they call the skybox, which I think is just the the stuff associated with the sky. So all things kind of weather and what have you. Um, so I have increased the probability of rain because there is now lightning, so we might get some additional weather effects that we might not have seen before there's also the moon that um, is going to be included and i think this job it's currently 11:42. i think we will end up having to sleep so i'm hoping we will actually get to see that moon as long as it is not raining we need some petrol as well as or diesel sorry as well as a bunch of other things there's also the used truck dealership and we're gonna have a little look at the used truck dealers because i i found that uh, as well as another feature which I didn't, I wasn't aware there was a thing, and we have clicked that on, so we'll talk about that as well. Um, all very exciting. We have our big box of paper on the back, ready to deliver this. Uh, I mean, that is a lot of paper. So uh, let's just set the route. We want to go this way. So we, we do need to get. So what are you saying? What are we saying? We go go there. Oh, it's absolute chaos. Could we not just go there? I think we could do that. Let's just ignore that. Reset the navigation. 
uh, here in Istanbul, which looks very nice. It has anyone who is watching this ever been to Istanbul? Let me know whether this makes you think of it. I mean, it, it, it's such a lovely sort of. I mean, I didn't expect it to be quite so leafy and lovely modern looking buildings. Really impressive. And the mall looks quite impressive as well. So we're just going to take a right here. We're going to do all sorts of sort of craziness here. Uh, and then we'll talk a little bit about uh, one of the achievements that we might be working towards um, on the way. And I think we will be picking up one number one on that achievement in a second. So uh, let's uh, drive down the road. I'm going to do some creative driving to get to that um, that viewpoint and I'll see that that's a bank up there apparently <laughs> I couldn't advertise it any better than that it's it's nice look at this I do like this this is a lovely city to be driving in yeah very very uh, impressed with this I think we could no we can't go up there um, so I think on the right somewhere here let's just double check this this is where our I mean we could go and get that now but I don't think we actually need to oh we've just got the first one of our taking the scenic route so somewhere around here is I think it was a lake but I cannot see it we are coming all the way back so we're going to be be able to look at this in more detail but we've just got the first one of taking the scenic route. And it's basically, this, we've got to visit five locations on the road to the Black Sea uh, DLC. Um, now, I assume they were associated with cutscenes or um, photo opportunities, but I'm, I'm not sure. It doesn't look like that's necessarily the case. Wow, look at that big building up there. Very nice. So, yeah, this is a, there's a, a heck of a lot going on. I mean, it is massive, isn't it? Turkey uh, or Istanbul it's absolutely massive in the game and I assume that's why it's got oh dear a bit of a, a weird thing going on there but I assume that's got something to do with why it's a slightly bigger font on the uh, on the map so does that mean you've it's a, it's a bigger city on the on the map I don't know let me know or is that sort of the the major city in Ooh, what are we doing here? Yeah, is that does that mean it's the major city in um, the particular country? I'm not sure. Not necessarily the capital, but the the city that's the biggest in the country. I, I don't know. Right, we're going up here, and then we're coming back round, and that's and then somewhere along there was a photo opportunity. So I'm going to do this little loop, and now come back and see what we can. See what we can find. Wow, look at the amount of skyscrapers. I don't think I've seen this in any... This feels really very much like a city, like I'm driving around in a, in a city. It's not always the case with some of them, because it, you know, they're not that big, but this really does feel ginormous. It feels it's got the feeling of a city, so well done. I mean, I don't think they need quite as many Turkish flags everywhere. <laughs> right, photo... Uh, viewpoint just on the right here. How are we going to be able to just pull in there? Is that just a, a little lay-by type thing? Let's just pop in here and we'll see what this is all about. Here we go. Right. This is Istanbul. Yeah, it looks pretty awesome. I mean, the buildings themselves aren't that impressive looking. They don't look, you know, that great close up. But the, the overall effect is quite magnificent, isn't it? So, yeah, nice. Looking for uh, a a lake, I believe. somewhere I'm not sure where we're gonna see it <laughs> that's the Turkish flag if we're in doubt 
but some yeah lovely looking architecture i don't know whether um, these buildings some of these sort of more uh, unique buildings are you, you suspect they are kind of real i mean they're, they're focusing in on this one that must be a real building and i'll see if i can find that in um figure out what that is i'll put that on the screen if i do if if you if you know what it is though you know give us some information on it and the bank <laughs> is that is that an, an important location right on we go we're going to see if we can find this lake or whatever it was that there was that that initial viewpoint should be just up ahead but we will see right so I wonder if it's here just on the right here this is pretty much where we were when here we go here we go is this I mean this looks like a river not a lake but <laughs> let's go up and see what we've got yeah it's supposed to be something like Lake Kuksekmeki and I'll, I'll see if I can find that maybe this is what it is and it's kind of like a a river like lake that's been constructed but yeah not entirely sure but uh, there we go we'll go and see what that question mark is just around the way oh no there's the sign sign to cook Sekmaki is this way so perhaps it's on this side Have a look. I mean, just a second. This looks still. This still looks like a river to me. But oh no, there we go. It sort of opens up into a lake just over there. So we'll go and have a look. I think we drive along the um, the side of it there. But we will go and right. We will go and check that question mark out because that's why we were down here. Right, so have a look. I I suspect this might be quite pretty. So this is the taking the scenic route uh, achievement, and there are uh, four other locations which don't look like they are specifically um, highlighted. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is this is it. Oh, that is nice, isn't it, folks? That is that is very much a lake. Right, we've discovered a recruitment agency. We're going to try and do a bit of a a turn. So you go past. Make my life a bit easier. Go on. Right. No one come down here. Right, there we go. Okay. We're going to now head off on our route a little bit more. Um, we've got a fair drive to do here in Turkey um, over the roads that actually you've seen already. But then we're going to come off across this border crossing here. And this will give us our second, um, uh, second one of the Ranger achievement, which is where we've got to do all the border crossings um, between Turkey, Romania and Bulgaria. Uh, so we've already done the one here, we're going to do the one up here, and then we're going to go up here. So um, that's that's good. We're also, because we're collecting the, well, we've got Istanbul, and then we will be getting Veliko Tarnova. That will be our um, fifth um, town in the Balkans Explorer, and that's fifth, five out of 30 where you've got to collect all of them. So that'll be good. And... Um, in the cruise in the Balkans event, we've currently got two out of 15. So for that one, we've got to go between two cities in the road for the Black Sea, or at least one city in that one and one in another, which, and the distance between the two has to be 200 uh, kilometers. So this one will cl cl clarify for, this one will qualify for that. Uh, so we'll get uh, actually, it will get Istanbul and Veliko Tarnova for that because we hadn't previously picked up Istanbul. So that's great. So we'll be up to, uh, I think, four for that one. So that's what we're trying to achieve today. So lots and lots of achievements. Let's go. 
I'll see you in a bit if something happens. We almost, I want to talk all things uh, 1.49 on the way up there, though. Got lots to show you. A lot of spectacular driving going on at the minute. Really, really nice. Just look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, really, really impressed with, <laughs> with this this particular part of Turkey. It's absolutely stunning. Um, yeah, very much enjoying this. We're on the road to <coughs> out of Istanbul. We've um, finally got out of the, the, the city after fiddling around in there for a, a while. We've got 248 miles to go. Um, next th thing that we're wanting to do is to fill up with petrol and we have a, a um, or fill up with diesel and we have a fuel station uh, coming up just uh, some short distance up the road. It's not far away at all. But in the meantime, while we're just uh, driving up there and finding this uh, fuel station, I did want to highlight one of the new features, which I didn't know anything about. I don't know whether this was announced wasn't announced in the original announcement or whether I just missed it but something that I know that I have a huge amount of issues with and certainly I know Zilla also has had a lot of issues with that is um, his headlights and they have got some automatic headlights now in the game they've got two types so they've got automatic headlights which will detect when it gets dark uh, and you can toggle this on in the game settings which uh, so I've done that uh, so it should mean that we don't have any issues getting fines because we haven't got our lights on. The other thing is we've got automatic high beams. So the high beams will come on automatically. But if a car comes in the opposite direction, to as you would normally, the beams will go kind of go back to low beams so they won't dazzle the, uh, the person coming in the other direction. So I thought that was really nice. Pet fuel station just up there, so we're going to go and grab some fuel now. Um, let me know what you think about that particular feature. I think that will be really, really helpful. Yeah, and you can just get to those two options in the game settings just a little way down. Right, here we are. We're going to be picking up some fuel. Uh, in here. I think we can get through in here. Yeah, that's fine. We, yeah, we've only got a tiny, tiny little bit left, so we do want to make sure we pick this up because we do not want to run out of fuel on the way right we're all filled up only 443 pounds spent there pretty good and so we're back on on route two hundred and ten miles to go we've got the the border crossing coming up uh, in a little while it's a, it's a fair distance away that um, and the, the weather has been glorious. Even though I've said increase the chance of rain, I think perhaps the, the chance in certain countries like Turkey where you probably don't get an awful lot of rain is perhaps reduced. If we went to England, then it would basically be raining every day, I, I, I suppose. Okay, folks, we'll move on. Uh, I want to show you the used trucks um, option very shortly because I, and, and I want you to get uh, give me your impression on that there's one thing that I don't really like about it as far as I can see and I'll talk about that when we get there so uh, we'll probably jump back just before we get to maybe in a, an hour or two and we'll talk about that oh all right we've got to pull into the way station we've just been the rightmost gate, right, that's helpful. So we're gonna go all the way down there. And we've just been, there we go. Oops. Oh, for Pete's sake, where's this police car? Oh, he's right there, that little. <laughs> I've done <it> twice. <sighs> well, we've paid the top. It's been an expensive few miles, that has. <sighs> Like this guy, there he is. God. Horrible little man. So let's weigh the uh, weigh the truck. There's a lot of this going on in Turkey, I have to say. Oh right, we'll we'll get this done, and uh, I'll, I'll see you at the border crossing, which isn't far away. Um, and we'll talk about our used truck dealership, which is a, a new button in the. Um, um, in the 
truck dealers uh, options. It took me a little while to find it. There's like the Eiffel Tower right ahead. What's going on there? No, maybe not. I think it's just a mast. But <laughs> from the distance, from the distance, it looked like the Eiffel Tower. Um, yeah, we're just heading off uh, to the right here, uh, and this will take us up to the border to get our next step on that uh, ranger achievements. Um, and we we'll, won't be far away. We'll have had all the ones out of Turkey at least, and then we'll just need to explore the three. Uh, between Bulgaria and Romania. Uh, so uh, we will get that as we sort of work harder to get this uh, this achievement, the, uh, well, we get the event, finalise the event. We've got a fair few more cities to pick up for this. Oh Christ. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> oh, is this a thing? Do, do we... I don't know whether we go up here. This looks... Oh, I, let's do it, let's do it. Let's go up here. I mean, okay, we, we can't go there. It's a, a, f a fake wall, but it's a nice little random bit of road that we can utilize here. Oh, Christ. <laughs> maybe, maybe you should have gone a bit slower. <laughs> right. There's the border crossing just ahead. So um, I think we got the, the um, achievement pop up almost just as soon as we got there, after we got through the first one. So do we have to go somewhere specific as a truck? It doesn't look like it at the minute. There we go. Number two out of five. Sorted. A pull in at the vehicle inspection at the way station. So that. Uh, is just here, is it? There we go. Yeah, we got. Well, they do like weighing us quite, quite a lot. So. As we go through this, we have now a used trucks dealership. Let's go and have a look at our used truck dealership as we go through. This is, I think, is the... What is this? I'm not entirely sure what this is. We'll get through this. They, these are massive border crossings, it has to be said. Checking the documents. While that's happening... So if we, if we look here, we have a used trucks option down here. I'm not sure. I feel there was I'm not sure what was here previously, but maybe they've consolidated things. Is there something missing? It feels like the same number of icons were here. There's some maybe something gone. But it's pretty cool. Uh, you've got a system here where you can look at the mileage of the truck. So that's seen a few miles and the condition of the truck. Um, so that's pretty good. You've also at the bottom there you can see the details on, on how much wear and tear have gone on. So there's 16% permanent wear. This is the other thing they brought into the game. This uh, change in uh, damage and repair. So you've got three different levels of damage. Some of it is permanent, some of it is part, and I think there's another one as well. But you get all that information in all of these. So here you can say this is a, a fairly old truck, just 25,000 euros. So if you're just starting out, this would be a very easy thing to to potentially buy. Um, the issue, and, and you've got that for each of the different truck manufacturers. I don't know how quickly these turn around. Um, whether you know you need whether whether it's always the same ones or, or whether they kind of rotate and you get different thing, different ones coming in. For example, you've got a 
a five star truck here, 164,000 euros. The problem I see with this is I can't see anywhere where it tells you what this would cost if it was new, which I think seems to be quite an important thing to to understand because I, you know, unless I know the quality of the truck, and I can, I guess I can guess at it to some degree. It's hard to know how good uh, value for money the um, the deal is. So I'd like to get your opinion on this. Is that is that am I missing something, or is that a bit of a a known goal there? But it is a bit of a it is it 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 is a nice uh, update to the game. I certainly like it. Everything's in order. Have a nice day. And off we go. Oh, that's a petrol station. Oh, we've got some rain, folks. We've got some rain. So we'll see. Where are we going now? I really don't know. <laughs> oh, here we go. We're going through here. Right. Right. Let's see if we get any thunder, lightning, that sort of thing. X-ray inspection successful. When did we do that? <laughs> We've got some dark clouds ahead. It's dark over Bill's mother's. Oh, it's only 12 kilometres an hour. I'm not going to get done again. We've still got lots of money in the bank, but it's been a, a particularly <laughs> underwhelming journey, really, the amount of mistakes that I've made. And here we go. Into... Bulgaria we go. Language now is completely changed. I think that's it. I think we're done. It is gone. It has gone dark and it does look really nice up there. Um because I don't see it very often. I'm not 100% sure how much nicer it looks, but I'd love to get your thoughts on how good this looks. So it should be, with everything in mind, uh, let's put the old windscreen wipers on. This should be, um, the lights should come on when they need, okay, no, they have come on, they have come on. So that's good. It, 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 it works. <laughs> is that which side of the line do I want? Is, is, is it this side? Am I on this side of the road? I mean, yes, I am. But why is it a completely solid line? I don't know. Right, we're going to head up the up the way. We've got a little way to go uh, through the Bulgarian countryside up to Veliko Tarnovo. We'll pick up that one. And drop the uh, this off at subset maybe, uh, but we'll we'll have a look at what that is along the way, and that might be something that we can pick up, and it might be another um, interesting um, landmark which uh, might be relevant to the achievement I was talking about earlier. It might not. I'm not sure. Oh. Yeah, no, the, the sky is definitely improved. This, look at that. Look at the um, dark clouds over there. We might well see some uh, some lightning. Uh, hopefully we do, because I think that would be flipping awesome. Be a great, uh... ooh, hello. Yeah, it'd be a really nice uh, addition to, to this uh, this particular drive. To, to get to see that but there is that has improved dramatically it looks flipping awesome and, and look how dark it's got as well I, I do like this we we just um, come on to the the motorway up towards uh, Veliko Tarnova so we're not far away from that I wonder if we get the um, I wonder if we actually get thunder as well that would be kind of cool
is it going to be a bit of a jump scare so it absolutely you know it's really loud or something so we are going to be turning right just up here let's just have a look on the map where we are okay so not quite I was slightly incorrect so we, we we need to come off here and I think it's back on the old country roads up up the way so I think yeah this new skybox let me know if you've seen any um, additional weather what you what what your experience of the, uh, the this kind of new skybox and what the moon looks like Cause it, I'm not sure we'll actually get to see it um, which is frustrating because you know it's raining <laughs> and, and I think we'll get there it may be dark by the time we get there I'm not sure uh, and we are we will be needing things soon Matthew P just picked up just under 5,000 um, or just over 5,000 uh, euros worth of stuff so that's good we're back up to 189,000 we can add our um, we'll be able to oh my lord it's really dark everywhere yeah we can we will be able to buy I think very soon another uh, another truck we can probably do that already but do I do it as a used truck I think we might do that I think we might do that so we'll get a really good quality used truck see what see what that looks like so here is right here is the new truck damage screen which looks pretty good um, so this is not do anything this is repair and you can see 52 uh, pound to repair the uh, the current issues with the engine so there isn't any but we could replace the engine for 21,000 so yeah uh, and watch look look what the repair does here uh, on this particular one so we go from 2% to 1% so it doesn't fix things completely um, yeah so yeah, what do you think about that? Let me know in, in the comments. Oh, it's foggy as well. Oh, this is this is awesome. What a hard bear driving conditions this is. Oh, it's great. This is absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love this. Right. I'm gonna drive in these these foggy conditions. Looks like we might be coming out the other end of the weather, which is nice. And uh, I'll see you when we get close to our destination. If we do see some lightning, I'll show you. Make sure to show you that. There you go. Veliko Tarnova has been discovered. So we are um, number five, I think, on our Balkans Explorer um, achievement out of thirty. So a lot, a lot still to go there, but making steady progress and you know it's still raining it's got it looks a lot nicer than it did it's starting to get a little bit on the dark side as well so um, we we might well see something I don't know if depends if it clears up or not I'm not sure but uh, so just up here on the right we will have a, a photo opportunity. I wonder whether this is going to be one of these kind of fairly spectacular ones. We're coming through a tunnel, which makes me think there's something quite interesting going on just out here. Oh, look at this. It's Veliko Tarnova, which is the city. Why is that? Why is that so impressive? I mean, it's, a, it's it's interesting. It's all kind of you built the tunnels built underneath. That is kind of cool. But so is it? Is it some sort of historical city? Is that is that why we're looking at it? Yeah, it's all up there, isn't it? Oh, Christ. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> so I was just looking right behind me there. I was just thinking it's like a Minecraft village. Just someone's put it on top of a on top of a hill. Just spawned up there. Right. Here we go. Right here. 
over the train tracks. I think that means it's good. <laughs> there we go. We haven't started yawning yet, so we're going to get back and I'll be absolutely fine. I'm not sure where we can sleep. Is there anywhere to sleep around here? Not necessarily. The only place we can go here is is this. There's not much in this place. Maybe here. But there's not a lot there. But we, yeah, just up, up the way. But yeah, it's been a fun one. This has been a fun one. It's been really cool to see the, the changes that have been put in with the new... Um... Yeah, with the new uh, new update, I think a lot of those look really, really nice. And here we are at our delivery site, which is what is this called? Not sure. Doesn't have a name. Doesn't deserve a name. Sub subset. I thought yeah, I thought it said subset, but it's subset. So we'll um, see where they want it, and we'll just bung it there, and we'll be good. Oh no, I didn't actually mean to pick that one but there we go we'll have a we'll have a go at, at this particular so we're gonna just scoot round and we'll see if we can actually get this in I've been playing around with this a little bit but not oh I thought I was doing it for a second there. I thought I got it. Uh, we'll give it another go. I felt I wasn't far away from that one. It was... Alright, let's see if we can... We just... We want to go... We want to move... We'll just move it... A little bit. Turn it a little bit. It looks well lined up. It looks like it's turning. You know what? <sighs> this isn't too bad. Go on, go on, give us that. It's given us us. It's given it us. Let's have a look at that. Wow. 13 out of 20 uh, with our parking challenge uh, achievement. So 13 out of 20 that I've um, done reverse parking on. So I'm, I'm getting all right. That was. It took took a little bit of time. I'm starting to get to grips with it, which is rather exciting. We've just gone up to number 23, which is master. So let's go and um, put that additional level in. Where do we put that in? I mean, do we go up for the highest ADR? I think high value cargo feels like the right thing to go here. So we'll do that. So uh, yeah, pretty happy with that. Um, and we are, we are done folks. We are done. Um, so we've made some progress with a bunch of the Road to the Black Sea achievements. We've talked an awful lot about um, update 1.49. I really want to see what you guys think of this new update. What are the things that you're really enjoying in there? And also, what are the things you want to see in future updates? That would be an interesting thing to hear. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you for the next one. Goodbye.